कश्मीर लाइफ ड्रीम बिग सीजन थ्री के पहले शुमारे में आप सब नाजरीन का इस्तेबाल है आज हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं इस शुमारे में इम्तियाज अहमद मीर जो कि मेडिकल स्ट्रीम से बिलोंग करते हैं ही हैज डन हिज बी एस सी इन एग्रीकल्चर हिज एम एस सी इन प्लांट पैथोलॉजी फ्राम फर्स्ट कश्मीर एंड ही हैज ऑल्सो बीन रिसेंटली अवॉर्डेड विद फुल्ली फंडेड इंटरनेशनल डॉक्टोरल फेलोशिप इन मोलिकुलर बायोलॉजी एंड बायो इंफॉर्मेटिक्स specializing in plant pathology at Meta University Hungary so aaj hum inse interact karenge and janenge what and how was the process of fellowship and kaisa raha inka aapka ka safar sabse pehle to imtiyaz aapka bahut bahut shukriya hamare shumare mein hamare sath interact karne ke liye shukriya sabse sabse pehla sawal mera jo aapki taraf rahega wo ye rahega ki सबसे पहले आप ऑडियंस को अपने बारे में कुछ बताइए आप कश्मीर में कहाँ से हैं उस बारे में बताएं अपनी क्वालिफिकेशंस के बारे में बताएं व्हाट आर यू फॉर एक्विजिशन डू टेल अस अबाउट दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम हाईली थैंकफुल फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू द कश्मीर लाइफ सो माय नेम इज इम्तियाज अहमद मीर बेसिकली आई एम फ्रॉम नेहापुरा पटन अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल विलेज इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट बारामूला Uh, coming to my schooling, uh, I went to MMKS public uh, school where I did my high school uh, means up tenth class. Then I uh, moved to higher secondary Nyalpora where I completed my eleventh and twelfth. And uh, now talking about my bachelor's, I have done my bachelor of sciences in agriculture from Skost K, uh, Faculty of Agriculture Valdora in twenty uh, twenty. After that, in uh, 2021, uh, I jo- again joined the same university and got admitted to master's degree program in plant pathology, which I uh, recently completed this year. And Alhamdulillah, few weeks back, I have been awarded fully funded international doctoral fellowship in molecular biology and uh, bioinformatics, specializing in plant pathology in Central Europe, specifically in Hungary. So this was my you know, brief introduction. Imtiaz. Uh... जैसे कि हमें पता है आप मेडिकल स्ट्रीम से बिलोंग करते हैं सो गोइंग फॉर एंड ऑप्टिंग फॉर मेडिकल इज नॉट दैट इजी सो व्हाट आई वुड वांट टू आस्क इज व्हाट मोटिवेटेड यू बिकॉज यू वर डिग्री इन एग्रीकल्चर और प्लांट पैथोलॉजी एंड वाज देयर समथिंग लाइक इन योर अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टडीज इन एग्रीकल्चर दैट प्रिपेयर यू फॉर योर एडवांस स्टडीज वेदर दैट बी प्लांट पैथोलॉजी और फॉर दिस स्टडी Uh, so was this uh, on some what level that already prepared you for your further goals uh, to begin uh, with my reason for taking a plant pathology is as a result of the fact that growing up as a boy in a family where agriculture is the main profession uh, i have always been very much interested in farming activities especially uh, plant protection so my passion for this activity has always been the driving force that landed me to study agricultural sciences at the university in my later years and studying agriculture at the undergraduate level made me realize especially during my series of projects like rural agricultural work experience program and experimental learning that very limited plant protective measures are put in place by uh, most of the farmers in my country to minimize uh, loss of uh, produce which are often caused by wide variety of microorganisms uh, such as fungi bacteria viruses and nematodes so it is as a result of these observations Uh, that i have decided to take up plant pathology at the masters level among its other options and because of the inevitable importance of plant pathology in uh, relation to sustainable crop production at a time of uh, population growth in relation to food security uh, since i want to deepen my education in plant pathology particularly in molecular biology and bioinformatics Uh, so i uh, decided that the perfect choice for my phd studies uh, will be at hungarian university of agriculture and life sciences uh, imtiaz uh, you said earlier that you went uh, for your one month all india tour doing your bsc degree program okay and then you further went for the educational tour to ladakh uh, during your fourth semester so uh, what i would want to ask is can you please share some key experiences and learning from these tours and how did it contribute to your understanding of agriculture you know in different regions and first experience uh, was the cultural diversity you know india's diversity is striking uh, with each region offering its own distinct culture in traditions and cuisine uh, from the bustling streets of delhi to the serene backwaters of kerala every place has uh, something unique to offer and uh, next one 
I would like to mention here is historical marvels. You know, India is home to numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites, like the Taj Mahal, Qutub Minar, and these landmarks offer a glimpse into India's rich history. And another thing that I experience is local cuisine. You know, India's cuisine is uh, renowned globally for its variety and flavors. Each region has its own specialties, from spicy street food to elaborate regional dishes. Uh, you know, trying local delicacies in a, is a, an entry part of the cultural experience. And uh, now coming to the educational tour, you know, I have to share um, my own experience that I had. What students can you know learn and gain by visiting Ladakh when they are on educational tour? First thing uh, that students can learn when they are on educational tour to Ladakh is geography and uh, geology. Uh, Ladakh is known for its unique geography and uh, geology with high altitude deserts, uh, rugged mountains, and uh, stunning uh, lakes like Pangong. And students can learn about the formation of these landscapes, and I can say the impact of uh, altitude on ecosystems uh, and the region's uh, geographical history. And next thing that they can learn and gain or they can experience is biodiversity and ecology. You know, despite its harsh climate, as you are familiar with, you know, Ladakh is home to diverse range of flora and fauna uh, adapted to extreme conditions. And I can say students can study the adaptations of species uh, like the snow leopard, uh, Tibetan antelope, and various migratory birds that live in this environment. Uh, and next thing uh, that I experience is uh, cultural heritage. You know, Ladakh has a rich cultural heritage, you know, influenced by Tibetan Buddhism. And students can visit monasteries to learn about uh, Buddhism philosophy, art and architecture. And they can also interact with monks and, uh, you know, I can say they participate in cultural ceremonies and rituals. And a person uh, can also gain knowledge about Ladakh history. You know, Ladakh has a rich history shaped by its uh, you know, strategic location on the ancient Silk Route. Uh, students can uh, visit historical sites such as Leh Palace uh, to understand the region's historical significance and I can say the cultural exchange over centuries. Now that India's up, uh, up, uh, ye pura throughout process kafi difficult hoga, kuch challenges aapne isme face kiye honge, is pure schedule ke dwaran. So did you have uh, parental support throughout this? Aapke friends honge, did they help you towards the fellowship and all throughout the process? You know, friends important role that they play. Agar aap kisi bhi field mein ho, ya aap kisi bhi situation mein ho, friends ka ek important role rehta hai. And my friends play a crucial role during uh, challenging times. You know, their support often uh, you know provided me emotional encouragement, um, practical advice, and sometimes even logistical assistance. Because in which which me, kabi money ki bhi zarurat padti hai, to friends se liye hote ki wo mujhe logistically kabi bhi support karte, assist karte. Thi. So friends can offer a listening ear, understand the pressures and uncertainties of the application process, and and providing reassurance during uh, moments of self doubt. You know, they believe in my abilities that boosted my confidence and motivation. And beyond emotional support, you know, friends might contribute by uh, reviewing application materials and offer, uh, you know, constructive uh, feedbacks. Uh, and many thanks to my friends. Like I would like to mention uh, some of my friends here is Dr. Yasser Binit Mir, and he's about to complete his doctorate. And most in art, one of my, you know, I can say best friend. Then is Hazi Hassan, uh, Muhammad Rafiq, uh, Rakib Rasool, Imran Ramzan, and, you know, Basit Abrar. You know, these are my friends who uh, contributed a lot uh, during my application process, emotionally, morally support. Karte uh, last but not the least, I would like to thank Dr. Ajaz Shafi for his guidance. And he's a PhD scholar presently in the USA. Imtiaz, uh, you have also had your uh, research experience during your MSc program. Okay, so uh, your uh, thesis was on damping of disease uh, of brinjal under uh, temperate conditions of Kashmir. So can you provide us an overview of your thesis and some key insights from them. During my master's research program, I done my research on a fungal disease called a damping off, uh, in which I worked on different objectives. Uh, basically, damping off is the most important economical disease of solanaceous crops, uh, and to identify the source of resistance against the damping off, uh, in Brinjal, 28 genotypes were screened against the pathogen. Also, systemic, non-systemic, and fungal bioagents were evaluated in utero against the lab. In utero here means the under the laboratory conditions. 
uh, and lastly, there was uh, integrated disease management. However, my uh, you know, study revealed the uh, scope of using bioagents in integration with systemic fungicides to minimize the pesticide use in effective management of the disease. Uh, last but not the least, and the important question that I have for you is um, about your fully funded international doctoral fellowship. How did you secure that fellowship? And, uh, what was the process? What was the application process? How did you manage to grapple all of it? As per my application process is considered, I applied in December 2023. Uh, after that, it was a long selection process, including interviews and several exams uh, with different scientists. Uh, then there were other steps as well that I overcome, alhamdulillah. And achieving an international fellowship typically involves a I know, rigorous application. Uh, process that uh, assesses academic achievements, uh, leaders' potential, and alignment with the approach uh, goals. And the process often uh, is in uh, uh, November every year. And next, applicants typically submit a detailed application uh, that includes uh, personal statements, essays outlining their achievements, goals, and the impact they aspire you know, to uh, make in their field. And uh, one more thing is letters of recommendation from mentors or professors are often required to attest to the applicant's uh, character and potential. Um, it required uh, your academic documents like uh, degree certificate, uh, trust, and other basic documents to apply for any international fellowship. And if selected for further consideration, candidates may undergo an interview either in person or uh, via video conferencing uh, to assess their suitability for the fellowship. Intias, uh, coming to the conclusion, uh, do you have any thoughts or guidance for the audience listening to you? Or um, are there any further acquisitions that you have planned for yourself that you would want to reveal to the audience? Guidance uh, for the audience that I would like to mention is stick to your goals and maintain strong willpower. Uh, these two are fundamental uh, principles in uh, pursuing what truly excites and fulfills you. It often requires stepping out of your comfort zone embracing uh, you know, challenges and pushing past obstacles you know, that may arise. Um, by focusing on what brings you genuine joy and fulfillment, whether it is a career path, a personal endeavor, or educational pursuit, you empower yourself to grow and evolve. And this journey is not just about achieving external success, but also about discovering your true potential and making meaningful contribution to your uh, patients and interests. When you gain your uh, actions uh, with your patient and dreams, you not only cultivate resilience and determination, but also inspire others to pursue their own aspirations with courage and conviction. Coming to the end of the session, uh, I would thank you so much for joining us today for this conversation and we wish you all the best.